Welcome to the Harper Classroom series of instructional videos. I'm Dr. Harper. This Excel tutorial is on the introduction to the mechanics of a single item MRP. So let's bring in Excel. I've already copied the gross requirements row, the schedule receipts, the projected stock balance, the safety stock, and the lead time. Let's start with a lot size discipline of LFL, lot for lot. First, the inventory on hand is equal to the projected stock bounce of the previous time period and we copy that over. Next, the projected stock balance. That equals the inventory on hand plus the receipts minus the gross requirements. Since we have a lead time of two, that's going to be the same equation for the first two time periods. For the third time period, it's the inventory on hand plus receipts, but this time it's planned receipts minus gross requirements. And we copy that over. Now for the net requirements, that equals if the safety stock, F4 to freeze, plus the gross requirements minus the inventory on hand, if that's greater than zero, that means our inventory on hand is not enough to satisfy both the gross requirements and a safety stock. In that case, we want this value, control C, Control V to copy, that's going to be our net requirements. Otherwise, we want zero. And then we copy that over. Now for the planned receipt, for LFL, that's going to equal if the net requirement is greater than zero, then we want that net requirement as the lot size. Otherwise, we want zero. And we copy that over. Since the lead time is 2, we come back to and our planned order release is going to equal our lot size. And we copy that over. There's the MRP for lot size discipline of lot for lot. So now let's see how the MRP changes when our lot size discipline is changed to a fixed lot size discipline. So let's copy the spreadsheet over. Control, left click and drag. Now for this spreadsheet, let's change the lot size discipline to a fixed of 12 as our example. The only difference in the mechanics of this MRP is in the determination of the lot size. When the net requirements are greater than zero, then we have a positive lot size. But the lot size is determined by how many times our net requirements can be divided into our fixed lot size. And here's how it's done. We take our lot size with F4 to freeze, and we multiply that by we truncate F7, our net requirements, divided by our lot size F4 to freeze. And then we'll add 1 to that, and that's going to be the value. So this is how many times it divides into it, plus 1 times how many times we have to order a fixed lot size. Otherwise, we want zero. And then we copy that over. And that's how you determine an MRP for a fixed lot size discipline. So let's see how the MRP changes with a minimum lot size discipline. So let's have another spreadsheet. Left click, control, drag. On this one, let's let this be a minimum lot size and let's just add a plus sign, which represents a minimum lot size discipline. Again, the difference is in determination of the lot size. So let's zero this out. And here, if our net requirements are greater than zero, then if our net requirements are greater than our lot size, F4 to freeze, then our lot size will just be our net requirements. Otherwise, It'll be our lot size, F4 to freeze. Otherwise, we want a zero. And then we copy that over. And that's how you determine the MRP for a minimum lot size discipline. So this ends the Excel tutorial video on MRP. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.